Hi, and welcome to this on-demand demo from Professional Advantage for our Power BI connector for Enforce Sun Systems. Professional Advantage has a broad product setup covering various areas to help you achieve more within your business, such as our billing management products, such as collect credit control, contract and service billing, our business intelligence area, where we have advanced inquiry, Power BI connector, cash management, where we have B4B payments and remittances, bank reconciliation, our integration application, which is called PA Streams, process automation for intelligent invoice capture and PA eSign. We also offer specialist solutions such as MTD making tax digital and consolidations, and our spend control applications for IPOS e procurement and expenses. IPOS e procurement will also be available in our next release of Power BI so that you're able to design your dashboards and layouts, reports for your procurement data so you can take all the invoice information purchase order information and report on that as well so what is the power bi connector the power bi connector from professional advantage automates the extraction and loading of financial data into power bi allowing you to easily analyze and visualize your financial data without the hassle of manually translating it into a power bi data model first If you are considering Power BI reporting for Sun Systems, there are many benefits for doing so. It's great for visualizations. It allows you to distribute those reports out to the wider organization. People can self-serve if they have access to the data. And it has a lot of capabilities in terms of drill downs and dashboards. It also gives you access to other things within the Microsoft stack in terms of exports and knowledge sharing. Power BI benefits are different for different teams in the organization and at the various levels. If you're a high level user within the organization, maybe it's more of a KPI or dashboard orientated benefit that you are after, so that you can get an immediate representation of where you're at in terms of that data. Whereas at an IT level, they would be looking for cost-effective licensing for rolling out Power BI Desktop. And that's a key point actually, as comparing this, for example, to query analysis. In comparison, query analysis is quite expensive and doesn't handle the distribution of data as well as Power BI can. Within Power BI, you can have it appearing on mobile devices, sending out alerts, etc., with as close to live data as you can get. But this is obviously based on your licensing and the auto incremental refresh times based on the, your data requirements. Power BI is by no means a replacement for query analysis. However, both have their merits. This slide highlights the comparison between Q&A and Power BI. The main point being that it has a broader reach with Power BI, both in terms of the data available to create dashboards and reporting, but also in terms of being able to share it more easily within the organization. Challenges. There are some challenges of getting the core Sun Systems data into Power BI, and they become blatantly obvious once you have the tables within the desktop app and try to get out anything meaningful from a report or dashboard perspective if you do not have our connector in place. The main things that we identified are listed here, some of them being the data structure or schema. If you are not the combined financial person as well as the technical person, that can be quite hard to achieve any kind of reports or dashboards within Power BI. Also, automating incremental updates, which in essence sounds easy, but in practice, there is much more to it than that is required. You need to ensure that you're getting the correct journals, date ranges and references in on each refresh and not duplicating them as that would make your reports or dashboards massively inaccurate. So we've built that into our schema as standard and that's already been catered for. Security, which is key for everybody nowadays. You want a situation that is easy to manage and has good visibility for those administering the system. So we've built that into our model to make it as easy as possible to visualize and configure that via our browser administration module and by making use of our existing data set security functionality within the core PA products. So these are just some of the tasks that we have aimed to fix with our solution. So just to drill on those challenges a bit further, we've got the Sun Systems database, which commonly can have up to 300 tables within it, and many fields with multiple primary keys that link across those various tables which if you're trying to build within Power BI, it's extremely difficult to do as you need to know what you're doing from a linkage point of view in that Sun Systems data model. So that's what we've aimed to achieve with our Power BI connector 
and we have that all in place for you out of the box. So continuing with the topic of complex data structures, obviously departments, T codes, and all of the analysis structures are dynamic within Sun Systems. So these can be changed on the fly within Sun Systems and can be different for each business unit that you may have. So what we've created is the option to control and update that dynamically too. We do this using Power BI System Setup and via the Web Administration Console, which we've provided. Using a combination of both of these or just one of them, allows the control of the output into the Power BI Canvas or desktop, meaning that users will then only see the data that they are allowed to see once the reports or dashboards are published to them. If the environment has existing data set security in place, this can be mirrored into Power BI so you don't have to repeat that entire setup. And this all aids the rapid delivery which we're aiming to achieve with the Power BI connector and the administration module. Summarization control. So when you are building out your warehouse, you can control on the fly what data is actually within it. So in our interface, we've set up a method to allow you to cater for annual summaries, quarterly period details, years, etc. And that can all be done by the use of our Power BI connector. It can also be summarized within your warehouse at a few clicks and can be updated or reset whenever you want without too much difficulty. Incremental updates and refreshes. So depending on your license and model, incremental refresh within Power BI extends the refresh operations by providing automated partition creation and management of that semantic model tables that frequently load new and updated data. So as our connector uses the ledger transaction table for modeling within Power BI, the use of our additional key fields within that data allows the latest changes at the data source to be included and effectively reduces the amount of data being returned during each refresh cycle significantly. To aid this, we've created our own unique IDs and joins from the one true source of data, which in this case is that ledger table. And we are signing unique IDs and keys to it ourselves that brings together a number of different components together to allow for a very simple, logical and solid process for the pro incremental updates. So it's not just understand the Sun Systems fields that indicates when it was pushed in, but we're actually tagging it as it comes into the data warehouse in the correct manner so that we know that we are looking at it the next time it auto updates. That can then work with your Power BI scheduling depending on your licensing type, which could be every 15 minutes if you're on a premium Power BI license or every three hours if you're on a standard Power BI license. So that you can then bring that data into the warehouse at your predefined schedules. So the professional advantage Power BI Connector solves these challenges that I've been mentioning so far. It presents all of the Sun Systems data structures with the linkages, etc., into the Power BI desktop with the fields being shown in a logical fashion. And of course, you can then alter that template model once it's in and add any additional data that might be required from other sources using the standard Power BI functionality. So to aid the rapid delivery of this Power BI Connector, We've simplified the data controls, and we've done this by providing a web interface, which is installed as part of the Professional Advantage module. And as you can see here on this slide, and basically anyone that has assigned admin rights can easily make decisions on how they want to configure each business unit and ledger in terms of security, warehousing, etc. And I'll be taking you through this later on in the demo. To further enhance the rapid deployment of the solution, we've aimed to create a user-friendly security layout. So you may have a specific Power BI administrator in your organization that doesn't necessarily understand all the different data set security groups that are in place to restrict users from seeing particular accounts, etc. So to avoid them having to log into another application to have a look at that or see the configuration and understand that configuration of it, we've provided them a view with that within our browser-based module, which they would have access to, so that they can have a quick overview of the users and which groups they belong to and which restrictions are in place for them. So they do not have to get involved with the creation of those data set security groups. They just have access to view them from within the browser and they can start creating the reports and dashboards, knowing that specific users have access to different groups and they would see those restrictions in place for them. 
So to summarize, at current, the Power BI connector is purely for Sun Systems ledger transaction details, and we can pull out all the ledger information from your analysis codes, your T codes, general description fields. We are looking to also include the IPOS e procurement data in the next release. You're able to also have the exclusion rules to remove unwanted data from those the business units, the ledger chart of accounts, and the analysis dimensions. The system will actually build out a register of all the changes to the Sun Systems database and leverage Power BI's incremental refresh capabilities to ensure the data warehousing is up to date and current. It solves the automation again from an extraction point of view, a refresh point of view for translation into Power BI. There's no need to understand the core underlying Sun Systems database schema, as we've done all that hard work for you by providing you with a relationship model that just works out of the box. We integrate with the row level security and also include our data set security from a Power BI perspective. It's a quick installation aiming for that whole rapid delivery and startup process and allows you to then slice, dice and transform your data as you wish and publish it. So now let's take a look at the PA connector directly within Power BI itself and afterwards we'll take a look at the web administration console as well. So here's an example of a dashboard that I've created. You can see I've got my business unit information here along the top. I've got some year and month information along the top, right, which can all be selected. I've got some actual budget and commitment data here, chart of account records and ledger information, and some visualizations of my T codes here. Along the right is what my connector has access to. So I've got all the tables here from the PA Power BI connector itself. I've got some key measures created as well. So I've got based on actual amount, budget amount. All of this is part of the core data that is brought in by the PA Power BI connector. So let's see how we can actually get that into Power BI. I'm going to move over to a new report. I'm going to select file and go to a new report. Let's open up a new report and get the connector looking at the Sun Systems database, bringing back the required tables and have that available to us on the workspace. So I'm going to select get data. where this will now show us all the available connectors in my environment. So I can use the scroll by, there's a certified connector. It will be available in the list from within here. I can also type it in, in the search bar. So PA Power BI, and you can see it's available to that. This is a connector that I have installed for Sun Systems version six. We do have a connector for Sun Systems version four as well, which can be made available. So I'm gonna to connect to that. going to enter my environment details. And then this will bring me back all the tables that are available as part of that connector. So just clicking on one of these, you can see all the information within that table. So as I've selected business units, I can see my available business units here, which are active. So this is what the connector actually has access to. I can then do my normal Power BI processing from here. So if I want to do any kind of transformations, I can do that from within this area. Or at the moment, I'm just going to select every table so I can load that into my desktop and press the load option. At this stage, it will go through and run through the queries and look at the data that I have from my warehouse, depending on my start and end dates or what the summarization is going to be and start pulling that data into Power BI so that I can start creating my dashboards and reports from there. So depending on the size and the number of business units you have and the number of transactions in each business unit, this could take some time Start creating the connections in the models, loading that data into the model. 
and it'll start showing us the number of rows in each table that are coming in. Once that's completed, within this data tab in the desktop, you will see all those tables being brought in and you are now ready to start creating your visualization. So we'll just create a simple one for now. I'll click on business units. I'm going to bring in the business unit names. If I jump down to the ledger and just click on amount, I haven't created any separate key measures here at the moment. If I jump down to the ledger and click amount, you can see I can start building these visualizations and I can change them as need be. So going back to my example, once you've got the connector in place, we do also supply the relationship model as I discussed in the slides. And in this relationship model, you can load that in and this will find all those relationships that are available for the tables that we are connecting to. So you can see we've got the ledger information here. We've got all the T codes, A codes if they're being used, how they're all linked to the chart of accounts, general definitions, etc and all the security principles as well. So all of this information is available out of the box. We provide this to you and you are then able to get up and running as quickly as possible. So now that we've had a look at the connector, let's have a look at the web administration module. So again, this is part of the installation, which means that you can then administer the business units. You can select which ledgers are available to Power BI and you can put check which security is in place and update the warehousing as required. This can be done as many times as you want and updated regularly. So at the moment, we're looking at a QA for business unit. You'll see in my environment, if I flick back to the desktop, that this is not available to my list of business units here. So what I'm going to do now is configure that business unit. So I'm going to select business unit and select add. And for this example, I'm just going to select the A ledger, select edit, make it active and select some of the summarization options that I know are already in my visualization. I don't need to have these available, but just for the demo, I'm going to select them. I'm not going to look at any archive data for now. And that is the basic settings that I need to do for each of the ledgers that I want to be made available to the Power BI desktop. I'm then going to synchronize security. That's done. Now, if I go back to my report, press refresh. This will start going through all the business units, check if there's any new ones, which hopefully there should be, and we'll bring in that new business unit. We'll also look at the existing relationship models and put those connections in place as well. You can see my report in the background is refreshing and QA4 has now been added to my report dashboard and that's how the web administration module works. It allows you to administer the business units, choose which ledgers are available. So if I click on QA4 now, you can see that I haven't got any budget information equipment because we haven't made that active. You can see my actual information here as well. So the web administration module allows you to add new business units, remove them, update the warehousing, and check the security principles that are in place. That from a in a nutshell is the Power BI connector. So if you've got any questions or comments, please do feel free to reach out to us.